So you're thinking about moving to Reno, Nevada, and you wanna know a little bit more about the current real estate market in the area. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be going over the Reno real estate market in regards to inventory, interest rates, and what you can expect as a buyer and a seller to give you a better understanding. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about Reno, Sparks, and the surrounding areas, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming information about the area. I get people reaching out to me just like you every single day through text, call, and email looking to make the move to Northern Nevada, and I absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call or schedule a Zoom. All the information will be down in the description below. I look forward to making the move to Reno, Nevada as easy as possible for you. So the first item I want to address is inventory. And we've had an inventory issue for a long time. We currently have about two to two and a half months of inventory. And what this means is after two or two and a half months, if no homes were listed, we would have no more homes to sell, which is a major issue and very unfortunate. And low inventory is going to be an issue we have for quite some time because we have high interest rates and a ton of homeowners are sitting on interest rates below five and six percent. So it really doesn't make sense for them to buy another home and have an interest rate in the sevens. They may not afford it or they may just not want to deal with a much higher mortgage payment. So this is going to be an issue for quite some time, but this is not just a Reno issue. This is a national inventory issue in the U.S. We're having issues because we don't have enough homes to sell and people don't want to sell their current homes and builders are currently not building fast enough. So like I said, inventory is going to be a major issue for quite some time. And at the lowest point in the Reno market, we had about one to two weeks of inventory, which was at the beginning of 2022. Later parts of 2020, 2021, and early parts of 2022 were absolutely insane because of COVID, lower interest rates, and the buyer demand was absolutely insane. Prices were increasing drastically. From 2020 to 22, we were having 20% appreciation, which is absolutely insane and not sustainable. We had a slight dip in prices at the end of 2022 or the last six months of 2022. And in 2023, prices started creeping up again. Even though we have high interest rates, a lot of people thought prices were going to dip in 2023, but the buyer demand has still been there in 2023, which is quite surprising. And some people still think that we might have prices drop in 2023, but there have been high interest rates the entire year and we haven't seen the prices dip. A lot of economists do believe by the first quarter of 2024, we're going to see lower interest rates. And if we get lower interest rates, just like in the second week of July, where we saw a massive surge in mortgage applications, I think we're going to see the same issue again. And if we have another surge in demand with continued low inventory, what happens? Supply and demand issues and prices go up. The other big issue affecting the current Reno real estate market is interest rates. Interest rates are really high compared to the last few years. Interest rates are currently at about 7.5 to 7.7 percent for a conventional loan and the low seven percent range for an FHA or a VA loan. I'm not quoting you interest rates. This really depends on your credit score, your debt to income ratio, and other factors. But this is what my mortgage app currently says as of today. But like I said, this is one of the biggest issues in our current market. But even with these higher interest rates, people are still buying homes. People thought with interest rates in the sevens or mid sevens would mean our prices would drop drastically until we get to lower rates. But prices in 2020 23 have slightly increased, which is not surprising because we don't have a lot of homes to sell. One of the best ways for you to get really good value in this current market is find a home that's been on the market one to four weeks and try to negotiate an interest rate buy down or get some money for your closing costs. Another really great way to save a ton of money in this current market is that a lot of builders such as DR Horton, Lennar, and Toll Brothers are offering some pretty amazing incentives to keep up with this high interest rate environment and low inventory issues. It really depends on each community, but Cordoba at Stonebrook by Toll Brothers, which unfortunately is ending this weekend, is currently offering a $25,000 credit that you can use for design center options or closing costs, which is huge. Dear Horton was also offering about a three and a quarter to 1% lower interest rate, whether you're getting an FHA, VA, or a conventional loan. And Lennar was also recently offering $25,000 in closing costs or to be used for an interest rate buy down. So I personally think that buying Buying a brand new home in this current market is some of the best value. So you're thinking about buying a home in this Reno real estate market and you're trying to time the market. And if you do your research, everybody says it's impossible to time the market.
market. So let me give you some information. You're thinking is now a bad time to buy a home or is now a good time to buy a home? Really, this isn't one of the best times to buy a home. That would have been in 2020, 2019, or any time from about 2010 all the way up to about one to two years ago where interest rates were lower and prices were lower. But you can't look back at that because you can't do anything about it. But what you can do about it right now is get all your ducks in a row, figure out if you can afford a home in this current market with the current interest rate and see if it works for you and your family. What you're gonna wanna do is interest rates are currently high at about seven to 7.7%, 7 .7%, depending on if you're getting an FHA, VA, or a conventional loan, right? And you're thinking, okay, this is a terrible time to buy, prices are high, interest rates are high. But a lot of economists believe and inflation is also going down. They believe that by the first quarter of 2024, interest rates will come back down. But what we saw in the second or third week of January of 2023, when rates pulled back into the 6% range, mortgage applications skyrocketed. I believe it was 40 to 50%, which is massive. So even though prices are a little higher right now and the rates are higher, you can surely refinance when they come down. But if you wait to the second, third, or even fourth quarter, or maybe even the first quarter of 2024, when interest rates pull back and more buyers enter the market, you're gonna have more issues, increased buyer demand, and more inventory issues, meaning it's gonna be harder to buy a home and you may or may not get any repairs done or closing cost credit from the seller. So these are just some things to think about as a buyer in this current market. Like I said, I don't think this is one of the best markets to buy in. You have to do a little bit of research and get a little creative on your financing, whether you get closing costs, an interest rate buy down, or some credits from a builder or a seller. So you're considering selling your home in this Reno market, and you're wondering, is now a good time to sell? Well, if you're moving, getting a divorce, you unfortunately don't really have a choice, but it is still a good time to sell if you're a seller because it is still a seller's market due to low inventory. But there are a few things I need you to understand, meaning you still need to list at a reasonable price and you need to expect that the buyer might ask for repairs, closing costs, or an interest rate buy down. Also, if you list your home currently at what you think is the market value and you know it needs flooring, paint, or has some other issues, you need to price it lower than that or expect that you're gonna get hit with a good amount lower than your list price. But if you price it accordingly, understand that days on market is about 76 days on average for the entire Reno market. It's gonna be a little less or a little higher depending on your price point and the area. But 76 days just means from the time that you list your home to the time that you close your home, the average is about 76 days, which isn't that bad. I would say at the peak of the market, the average days on market was about 38 to 45, which was absolutely insane. Things have changed a little, but like I said, we still have low inventory and are very limited, so which puts you still in a seller's market, but you need to be reasonable. I hope you found this video helpful about the current state of the Reno real estate market to give you a better understanding as a buyer and as a seller and give you a better understanding of the current inventory and interest rates in the area. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just send me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call or schedule a Zoom. And I look forward to making this move to Reno, Nevada as easy as possible for you. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.